Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. Code monkey, have boring Hi, I wanted to give everybody a quick lesson on how to send things more effectively through your email. Uh, many of us like to send email attachments to people to pass things around, and that's a great way to, to share information. However, uh, Gmail has a few restrictions that uh, we need to overcome. Uh, first, if you're sending things that are either a Microsoft Word document or PowerPoint or a PDF, you can just start up your email and click the attachment button to attach the file and then find the file that you're looking for on your computer and attach it and away you go. That is if that file is a Word document or a PDF or something that the computer recognizes. However, if you are trying to send say a keynote file or a flip chart, which many of us do, uh, Gmail doesn't like those file extensions and it messes things up on the other end. So you have a couple options. The first option is to compress that file, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, and send it via email. The second option is to use our server and put it on UE Teachers, which I'll show you in another video. So if I wanted to send this computer apps intro flip chart, what I would have to do before I attach it to my email is find it on my computer, I have it conveniently on my desktop here, and either hold control down and click it, which is the same as a right click, or if I put two fingers on my mouse pad and click, I get a contextual menu. And one of my choices is compress computer apps intro.flipchart. When I do that, it makes a second file that's called a zip file uh, in the same location. Gmail will allow me to email a zipped file. So now I come over here, send this, I'm going to send this one to myself zip file and attach it and now when I attach it I look for the one that is a zip file not the flip chart select it and I can send that away after it finishes uploading and now I type my email and away I go that's all there is to it